programmable array logic it is a programmable logic device with a fixed or array and a programmable and array inputs are given to programmable and array and outputs are taken from fixed or array programmable array logic boolean functions must be simplified a product term cannot be shared among two or more or gates the output terminals are sometimes driven by three state buffers or inverters let us try to implement the following function using pal we have got four functions w x y z of four variables a b c d the functions are expressed as sum of min terms to obtain the solution first we need to simplify the boolean function using kmap so after simplification we have obtained the expressions as w equals a b c complement plus a complement b complement c d complement x equals a plus b c d y equals a complement b plus c d plus b complement d complement and z equals a b c complement plus a complement b complement c d complement plus a c complement d complement plus a complement b complement c complement d here we can see that a b c complement plus a complement b complement c d complement is also equal to your w therefore z can be represented as w plus a c complement d complement plus a complement b complement c complement d now in each expression we will see how many product terms are there in w we have got two product terms this is one product term this is another product term so two product terms it for x we also have two product terms for y we have got three product terms a complement b c d and b complement d complement so therefore three product terms same way in z also we have got w a c complement d complement and a complement b complement c complement d so therefore three product terms we can see the maximum number of product terms in this expression is 3 so in a programmable array logic table programming table we are going to have 3 as the maximum product term number now we can see here as i just mentioned in each expression has got three product terms the maximum was 3 so we will mention each expression in terms of three product terms so that is why for four expressions we have got 12 product terms and we have numbered them as 1 to 12 now let us see how are we getting the outputs outputs are i have just written the expression that we got it in the previous uh, slide we have just taken those expressions and we have written it as w x y z now we need to fill in and inputs so as i as i told we are just having four variables a b c d but we can also represent z as w plus the functions so what we have done is w is also considered as one of the and input now we shall see how to fill in this table here w equal to a b c complement so for to fill in this and input if a particular variable is present in the true form then we mention it as 1 if the particular variable is available as a complement form then it is mentioned as 0 if a particular variable is missing then it is referred as blank so we can see for the first product term a b c complement a is in the true form so i have mentioned it as 1 b is also in the true form so it is also mentioned as 1 whereas c is present in the complement form so therefore it is mentioned as 0 now we can see there is no d variable d variable is not present in this product term a b c complement therefore it is mentioned as blank w again is not not available as an input so it is also mentioned as blank let us see for the second term a complement b complement c d complement a and b are present as complement form so they are mentioned as zero c is available as true form so it is mentioned as 1 d is available in the complement form so 0 and w is missing here as well so therefore it is mentioned as blank when we take the third term there is no third product term in w therefore the, all the inputs are blank that is we are not going to use it in the same way we can fill for all the 12 product terms for this uh, for this w only one input we are going to use the remaining all will be blank 
now we'll see how to draw the logic diagram we can see here we have mentioned all the product terms which we had in the programmable array logic programming table and we have mentioned those as your input lines we can see the variables a b c d we can take the true form in the top of the triangle or from the bubble if we take the input that, that is going to act as your complement so we have a a complement so these are the and gate inputs so a a complement b b complement c c complement d d complement w w complement and we can also see that all the product terms are and gates so 12 and gates are available for us and we are going to have four expressions so four or gates are required for each one for w x y and z and if this x mark x mark in um, constitutes that the fuse is intact and the plus represents the fuse is blown which means these terms which are not used at all those are marked by x x so which means we are not going to use it at all now we can see that here we are going to have for the first uh, and term here a the expression we shall see the expression a b c complement so in this a b c complement how to draw that a a there is a connection so i have connected so this is my a and then for b so this is this will be my b and this will be by c complement so these are the inputs that will be given to the first product term similarly the second product term will be a complement b complement c d complement a complement b complement c d complement so this is your a complement this is your b complement this is your c and this is your d complement so we have given these as inputs to the second product term similarly we can come fill in the complete the entire logic term so this is how we get the output now we can see w is also given as one of the inputs using this buffer so thus we are able to complete the implementation of programmable array logic for the functions w x y and z thank you